and cathartic. Daniela Ralph, BBC News. Well, to understand more about the effect that Prince Harry's book and interviews might have on his and his wife's image, I'm joined now by Fazana Badoel. She's the founder and CEO of public relations company Curzon PR. I mean, these interviews are obviously going to affect both the royal family and, and Prince Harry and Meghan in terms of the, the perception of the public in different countries. How would you assess the impact as we know it at the moment? I think it all stems from what is their game plan. And, uh, and I'd be surprised if their game plan included the UK. I think their focus is more the US. And when you think about it, they live in California. California is the fifth largest economy. Um, and you know, when you look at the income streams, Netflix, Spotify, the majority of the book sales, I'm sure, will be more US focused in the UK. If you look at their broadcast interviews, more have been given for the US. So I think you know, they sort of probably feel that the UK actually, um, they will never win that sort of positive sentiment. And the US is where the money is, where they're based, where they see their future, um, and, and where they also feel as if perhaps they can make more inroads in terms of cultivating positive sentiment. But it's not all about positive sentiment. You know, after all, it's about engagement, and that's what brings the money in. And hate, after all, is a form of engagement. Just look at Andrew Tate. In terms of, of the UK, certainly, the, you know, given their criticism of the British media, it is perhaps not surprising that the, the coverage here has been pretty negative of Harry and Meghan. Um, in the US, has the coverage so far been better? And, and is it perhaps overly cynical just to see this purely in terms of finances? They, they, Harry seems to very much want to put, you know, his version of events on the record to get some justice as he sees it personally. Well, I think it's a blend of the reality they need to have a certain amount of money to live their lifestyle uh, and to do what they want to do, i.e. set themselves up as philanthropists. So I think we shouldn't take money off the table as a motive. Um, but also, of course, it is incredibly cathartic, particularly for Prince Harry, uh, to tell his story. And I think also for those people out there who have had, you know, rumours um, said about them that aren't true or, you know, comments made out of context, it is incredibly satisfying to be able to control your own narrative, be it through a Netflix documentary or through a, um, a book where you can control every single aspect of your story. So controlling the narrative is without a doubt another you know, area. And probably you know, another motivation is to get their own back, you know, a bit of sort of vengefulness, a bit of, you know, um, you underestimated us and look what we're going to do. Um, you know, they feel ignored. Um, and I think the more the sort of the royal family do not comment and do not engage, the more perhaps inflamed Harry, Harry and Meghan feel that they're not getting that response that they're looking for. Okay, Fazana Baduel of Curzon PR, thank you very much indeed.